Hi! In this video, I will help you choose the appropriate data analysis that you can use for your research using inferential statistics. This video will discuss only the parametric procedures such as one sample t test, paired sample t test, independent t test, one way analysis of variance, and Pearson correlation coefficient. Their non parametric counterparts will be discussed separately on their respective videos. A hypothesis test is a statistical test that is used to determine whether there is enough evidence in a sample of data to infer that a certain condition is true for the entire population. It examines two opposing hypotheses about a population the null hypothesis, denoted by H sub O, and the alternative hypothesis, denoted by H sub A. For example, Suppose you suspect that Coke litro contains less than 1 liter of soft drinks. A null hypothesis might be that the population mean of all Coke litro is 1 liter. The alternative hypothesis is that the population mean of all Coke litro is less than 1 liter. To test the hypothesis, you may get samples of Coke litro by getting 30 Coke litro, for instance, then measure and record the volume of each Coke. After, you can calculate the test statistic and perform the appropriate statistical tool. From the result, we may conclude to either reject HO and accept HA, or fail to reject HO based on the empirical evidence. We will be discussing some of the most commonly used inferential statistics in quantitative research. One sample t-test, paired sample t-test, independent t-test, one-way analysis of variance, and Pearson correlation coefficient. Let's first discuss one sample t-test. This test determines whether the sample mean is statistically different from a known or hypothesized population mean. Example scenarios wherein you can use the one sample t-test are the following. Suppose you are interested in determining whether an assembly line produces laptop computers that weigh 5 pounds. And you want to check if the average height of male Filipinos is 160 centimeters. Notice that each scenario, there is a hypothetical value which are 5 pounds and 162 centimeters respectively. The next test is the paired t-test. This test is a statistical hypothesis test used when comparing two related samples, match samples, or repeated measurements on a single sample to assess whether their population mean differ. Example scenarios wherein you can use the paired sample t-test are the following. You are a teacher and you want to check if your students learned something in your discussion. You conducted a pre-test and post-test to measure their learnings before and after the discussion. And you are a coach and you want to check if your players improved after taking some enhancement drugs. Notice that in each scenario, we have the same participants, measured something from them twice, and compare these measurements after. We usually use this test on this kind of scenario. The third test is the independent t-test. This test is a hypothesis test for answering questions about the mean where the data are collected from two random samples of independent observations. Below are some examples wherein you can use independent t-test to answer research questions or achieve research objectives. You want to check whether there is a significant or only random difference in the average cycle time to deliver a pizza from pizza company A versus Pizza Company B. And, do two types of music, type 1 and type 2, have different effects upon the ability of college students to perform a series of mental tasks requiring concentration? Notice that in each scenario, we have two separate groups and compare something between them. The fourth test is the one-way analysis of variance. The one-way analysis of variance also known as one-way ANOVA, is used to determine whether there are any statistically significant differences between the means of three or more independent or unrelated groups. 
Below are some examples wherein you can use analysis of variance to answer research questions or achieve research objectives. Suppose you want to test the effect of five different exercises. For this, we recruit 20 men and assign one type of exercises to four men to form five groups. Their weights are recorded after a few weeks. And you want to study the effect of fertilizers on yield of wheat. We apply six fertilizers, each of different quality, on six plots of land. The yield from each plot of land is recorded and the difference in yield among the plots is observed. Notice that in each scenario, we have more than two independent groups. This is the difference between one-way analysis of variance and independent t-test. The last test is the Pearson correlation coefficient. This is a measure of the linear dependence between two variables, x and y, giving a value between positive 1 and negative 1 inclusive, where 1 is total positive linear correlation, 0 is no linear correlation, and negative 1 is total negative linear correlation. Below are some examples wherein you can use Pearson correlation coefficient to answer research questions or achieve research objectives. You want to identify the level of linear relationship between the age and IQ, and you want to check if there is a significant relationship between the behavior and the academic performance of your students. Notice that in each scenario, we measure two variables from each respondents, and check if there is a linear relationship between these variables. To summarize everything, when deciding which statistical tool will you use to test hypotheses, the flowchart below will help you in your decision making. A more detailed explanation on how to conduct these tests will be covered on other videos. I hope that you will be able to decide which test will you use for your research. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.